bring it into the picture. I've <clears throat> had a lot of wheels, and this is small. I mean, look at it, you know, it's plastic. It's very basic. This is the motor, and I have it plugged in, so it's a, an electric wheel. It's called a nano eel wheel, and I was attracted to it for a number of reasons. Um, oh my goodness, you know, I made this move and shipped a lot of my stuff, including a cumbersome large spinning wheel is how I came to look at it and um, decided to move it on and that I wanted to find something else, something that did not take up much space and that there had to be <clears throat> new, new technology. So here it is. This cost me about $120 for the whole thing, which includes a lot of bobbins and so forth. I think it's some sort of 3D printing because um, that's, you know, what I've read about it. And I, anyways, I'm just having such a happy time spinning some beautiful merino wool that is uh, brushed with Tussa silk. And it's very relaxing <clears throat> in these times of, um, coronavirus stress so to be able to spend some time spinning some yarn that will ultimately be very useful makes me happy um, and to be able to do it this is just incredible to me I love this and I'm very happy I'm not foot pedaling and cranking um, and hauling wood, wooden furniture around as a spinning device. Those were fantastic during their time with me, but um, this is just so cool. So I wanted to share that side of my life with you. There you have it. Relax. Stay centered and calm. Create something with your hands. Um, maybe I'll share some other projects with you as I share um, teaching about intuition. Because um, this is a way to really allow your intuitive um, aspects of your being to open because the calm and centered space it brings about and I just feel it so much right now while I'm, I'm talking to you. You may even be here, you may come on. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking, spend a little bit longer and encourage you to explore your creativity even if you think you're too stressed, um, don't have time, and are extremely worried that if that's the case, be sure to spend some time in uh, some type of artistic creativity, develop a craft that can be useful to you. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I've always thought if we're ever down to just having some fuzz around, I would be able to create thread and yarn and garments and draperies and blankets and bandages and all the things that would be needed at that level because of skills I've developed over the years. Um, and if you haven't started yet, now I would recommend this an ideal time to start that's my intuitive hint of the moment, and um, I will see you soon.